Let's talk about the Dave Matthews Band. We just premiered their new track on the air right here on 92.9 and 96.9 EHM uh, from the forthcoming record, Come Tomorrow, Samurai Cop, Oh Joy Begin. Um, I love it. I'm a big fan. We talked about their album coming out June 8th and uh, everything that is involved with that. And uh, I'm really, really excited about it as far as the reaction that's coming in. I want to read Michelle's uh, reaction here because this is interesting. Uh, Michelle writes in, uh, after Leroy passed, I feel like they really lost their sound. I'm just unhappy with them lately. Love Tim Reynolds, but not on electric. Uh, I just want him to keep touring and playing his old stuff. I'm so jaded, LOL. <laughs> it's true, but honestly, Honestly, I mean, it's a valid point. I really think that the band did change sonically a little bit when Leroy passed. Um, but I don't know. I, there's something about what they're putting together recently that I just, I love. Um, I don't love it. I love it in a different way from the original stuff. Look, that original stuff, like any other band, has been with us for 15, 20 years, right? 25 years, some of it. Um, this stuff is all new, but I don't know. There's, there's, It still has that heart and soul of the band. You know, uh, when you think about it, Dave is still writing the same exact themes he was writing on the first album, love and experience in life. But you know what? Like we need that, you know, we, we need somebody to keep doing that. You know, that's what Bruce was so damn good at the entire way. Yeah. He was writing about Jersey and yeah, he was writing about specific characters, but we all relate to it so easy because it's the everyday run of the mill stuff that everybody goes through, you know? And I think Dave has that form of writing. And I think that in some cases, uh, off their last couple of records, Big Whiskey and Away From The World, um, you can really make the argument that some of the songs on there are just as good, if not better, than the original three, as I like to call it, Under The Table, Crash, and uh, Before These Crowded Streets. I mean, Why I Am is as good of a song as any other big jump in, you know, pump in Dave Matthews song that they have ever written. And that was on Big Whiskey. Uh, the layering, the production on Away From The World, unbelievably good. So I do agree that there is a change, but um, I'm I'm on the ride, man. I'm going to go. I'm going to go whatever direction this roller coaster is going in. Now, I bring Michelle's comment up for a couple of reasons. One, because I agree with the change in the sound bit. Two, because uh, what's Boyd's involvement in this? Um, as you heard on Samurai Cop, there's not... I mean, if there's violin in that, I haven't heard it yet because it's layered down deep. I thought I did hear a little underneath, but I think that's just bass. Uh, so how involved is Boyd going to be? But three... Um, the... You know, and this is going to be part of the, the news of the day. Um, you know, where's Boyd? Where's Leroy? The third part about this whole thing is we now know that it was recorded over the course of 10 or 12 years. It's kind of a little unclear. Um, some of the songs, like I said, The Idea of You, Samurai Cop, we've heard live. The Idea of You, we've heard live. The Idea of You is on their Boston live record. But... Now we get this little snapshot of the four producers of this record coming together to talk about it. I'm going to play a clip so you'll be able to hear it. Um, and they're talking about this album is 10, 12 years in the making. So as we're sitting there and they're wondering, what's the sound going to be like without Boyd? Man, things have really changed since Leroy is no longer here. We get the news that this new album is part of a bigger thing. Um, and here is what they're calling the producers roundtable. So we talked about this four producers on this record. Um, and uh, they sit down and talk. Let's play a little snippet of it. And this is the first time we get a little bit of an inclination of what exactly this album is. Okay, I want to go back. I think it's 12 years. Give us the details on the music on this record. 
So that's the interviewer saying, I want to go back 12 years. Give us the details on this record. Of course, all four, all four of these producers have been working with the band uh, for the last for, in that 12 year period. This is a little clip of Samurai Cop, which we debuted for you here on EHM moments ago. It's got a lot of twists and turns. I think it's eclectic because it does have so many different producers and it was recorded over a decade of time. So that was Rob Evans. So Rob Evans, John Elijah, um, Mark Batson, and Rob Cavallo are the four producers. And uh, as you hear him say, it was recorded over the course of 10 years. So now, like, my, I'm, I'm all over the place because I'm like, well, what is this exactly? Is this the new sessions that we heard about that were recorded? Or did they literally go back to some masters, some older stuff that never made it on to past records from stand up on and grab some of that stuff and just put it out like it, it opens up a lot more questions for me is this an old track that was recorded and redone was there any re-records did you grab a part of Leroy on this and put it into the new thing or is it just what you know I really don't know I really have no idea you go deep when you go in with Dave Matthews man. that was Rob Cavallo Dave just kind of opened up. Sitting behind him, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. That session was so massive. My computer couldn't handle it. My two favorite songs on the record, I didn't even produce. This is where I love the handoff part. It keeps it interesting. It makes it very dynamic. So they, they hear Rob Cavallo say, my two favorite tracks on this album, I didn't even produce. Um, so it's pretty interesting to have four different producers come in. It's really going to give you a whole wide dynamic That's sound. Yeah, it was a super hard record to make, but this record has been just an absolute blessing. Well, Good. job well done, you guys. So that is the four producers sitting down to uh, discuss the production of the record. I can't wait to hear more of that. But again, the big nugget of news that comes out of this is this is an old. This is this is at least in part made up of some older material. That goes back 10 or 12, right? It's kind of fun. They say, take us back 12 years ago, but then they talk about, you know, the album being 10 years in the making. So I don't really know. So uh, if you're feeling that loss of Leroy, if you're wondering where is this band going without Boyd? Well, how about this for some news? This is somewhat a 10 years in the making, 12 years in the making record. Uh, coming to us from the Dave Matthews Band. I think that's pretty cool. By the way, you can hear the entire album already. There's a bunch of live stuff. because Because they've, at one point or another, played some of the stuff live through recordings or, you know, tapers in the crowd, you can basically hear the whole album yet. I've avoided doing that because I want to go in clean. I like going in cold. I don't want to... I've heard Samurai Cop already, but I, I want to go in... I want to go in not knowing anything. And I don't like watching trailers to for movies. I want to see, you know, the deep cut trailers that are an extra five. I don't like that. Yeah. Clean. Got to go in clean. So I've been avoiding listening to that. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, there certainly is a lot, you know, like, I, again, you can tell they've done this material before, but I didn't know it went back that far. And uh, we talked about Mark Batson saying Leroy is definitely on it. I don't know if Boyd is. So clearly Boyd's not really a part of the sessions that, uh, Mark produced, uh, but there's a lot of mystery behind this new Dave Matthews Band record, and I can't wait to get into more of it. We will definitely have more for you guys on this one, so I hope you're checking WEHM.com on a daily basis under the On Air tab. Click on Anthony. You'll see all our big stories of the day. This is one of them, and uh, you got to check in every single day to see what we're talking about. Today it's Dave Matthews. Tomorrow could be whatever. Uh, but I have a feeling we're going to be looking into this Dave Matthews thing a little bit more as uh, they've really kind of made it interesting. They really, really kind of make it made it uh, pretty interesting.